good morning. Um, so today I thought I would um, uh, show you what the van is like first thing in the morning before I've uh, got out of bed, um, just to show you how cosy it is really. Um, so uh, yeah, let me just try and show you. So this is the back of the van where I'm sitting at the moment, so the curtains are obviously drawn. Um, and if I turn this around, hopefully you'll see, there's my cup of tea on the side there that I always make um, before I get out of bed and I have that in the van. So I'm just going to try and do this uh, so you can see. Hopefully I'm pointing down at the bed there. Uh, it's hard to see what I'm doing um, backwards. So there's, there's the bed and I think if I lift it up a bit you can see I've got all the curtains drawn all the way around the van apart from the side because actually no one can walk past the side of the windows at the moment how I've parked the van. So I am uh, currently um, um, on the East Northumberland coast um, and um, right, on a, right on a beach, uh, so in the car park on, on, on the beach and I've just completely forgotten the name of the place but it's on my blog um, so check it out because it's a great apparently this is the best beach in Northumberland and it's also the quietest beach I read in the tourist book so that's quite bizarre it's a beautiful huge long beach that seems to go on forever um, so it's a great place to come stay oh but the car park here unfortunately um, I just managed to squeeze my van underneath it, so no motorhomes would be able to come here. But uh, so um, I think it's called Cheswell. Yes. Anyway, it's in my blog. Um, so check the blog out: www.mindfulvanlife.blogspot.com. Um, so I've started to um, head south and. Um, yeah, that's kind of come with very mixed emotions um, f for two reasons, really. <laughs> oh, sorry. I knew I'd probably be emotional. Um, it's been an amazing adventure in Scotland. Um, it's the whole uh, last f four f four weeks have um, taken me out of my uh, oh, sorry <laughs> comfort zone hugely. Um, so obviously, um, one of the reasons I chose to do Scotland first was to to kind of introduce myself to this new life gradually but it's uh still a huge change <laughs> an amazing an amazing one uh, and I'm not crying because I'm sad <laughs> I'm just emotional uh which um if people know me they know that I can be emotional <laughs> so um yeah and I think as the weeks have gone past, um, I've started to feel, well, not started to feel, I, I always felt, um, I've always felt, yeah, have felt guilt about um, going off and, and taking this journey. And I think the more that I see how that, doing something like this allows you to um, really experience life and places and people. <laughs> it's the people that you meet along the way. Um, and this, this week I've met um, some great people. Um, as an example, um, I met some people on um, a petrol station forecourt uh, when I went to fill up my LPG gas. And because I hadn't done it before, this very nice guy um, offered to help me. Um, 
anyway, cut a long story short, while he was helping me, some other people um, arrived, American people who um, live in Portugal and had driven over to Scotland um, from Portugal and um, their car runs on LPG. Um, and so then um, another guy turns up as well and he's got a four by four and we all started chatting and it turns out that he's going to outer Mongolia on a on a trip there for five weeks um, so that he can then um, take other people on experiences experience trips to Mongolia out of Mongolia through Russia um, and um, then the 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 people from Portugal didn't have the right adapter for their LPG and as it happened because I had bought them all of course because I'm organized for when I go to Europe um I lent them mine so I was able to help them um and it was great and we spent an hour on the forecourt of this petrol station chatting about life and adventures and everything and cut a long story short um the lady Mary from Portugal um has invited me to stay on their land in Portugal in the Algarve um, any time I would I would like <laughs> which is amazing um, especially as it was uh, one of the places that I intend to head to um, yes <laughs> so uh, and something else on the, along the similar lines really um, uh, of this new life is that uh, I read an article of, of um, another lady um, who's also a mother of two young children happily married with her children um, and um, she uh, basically was encouraged by um, 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 a speaker that she heard at her children's school to say that everybody should um, expand themselves and push themselves out of their comfort zone every now and again and just do a little micro adventure of their of their own on on their own um and so she started to to take small hiking trips um on her own um and uh basically just for a long week weekend um and to places that um she'd wanted to go but she'd never been um and she had to obviously take all her stuff and the tent and everything else and so each time she goes she goes um to somewhere slightly more adventurous and just pushes herself out of that comfort zone um and um you know the the experience that you get from that not not just of um taking a trip that you know you, it, you've always wanted to do or you find extremely enjoyable um but also just time for yourself because in normal life if we want to call it that we very rarely even sit down for five minutes on our own um unless of course you do meditation and I, I think that's why lots of people are turning to meditation because it takes you away from coming home at the end of the day from work and instantly being busy again either putting the tv on or cooking or uh, whatever it is rather than just sitting and being with yourself and taking time for yourself just to allow your your mind to process the day um and how it's been for you and um yeah so i just wanted to share share that <laughs> um obviously i think i've been talking for a while now and uh, not much well say about camper van life but um yeah it is all about um van life but also just um yeah the thing about being out of your comfort zone and how it it really um, allows you to get in touch with yourself and know who you really are as um, a person. So on that note, um, I'm going to say goodbye. Um, the next time I blog, I will be back in mm, my home county of Sussex. 
And I think that's also going to be an interesting time for me because um, I'll be around my home, but I won't, I'll obviously be living in my home in Lucy, but it's going to be, uh, uh, again, a different experience um, for, for me. And I've kind of just getting into um, being away from home and being okay with it. And so I'm not sure if this is going to take where this is going to take me um but we'll see <laughs> okay thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe because um uh i think i've got something like 79 subscribers now so i really would love to by the end of may um which is very very soon at least get to 100 subscribers that would be amazing so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe okay thank you for watching bye